This video shows you how to set up Microsoft Bookings so your students can schedule appointments with you. Bookings is a web-based appointment calendar that fully integrates with your existing Outlook calendar and automatically checks your available times. Students access your booking page website and select from appointment types you set up. After booking, notifications and a calendar event are sent to you and the student to help you keep track of the appointment. Start by logging into your MyYC portal. Click on the Applications tile and choose Office 365. If you do not see the Bookings icon listed on the Applications list to the left, click the grid at the bottom of the menu. Select the Bookings application. On the Setup screen, click Get It Now. Click Add a Booking Calendar to create a new calendar. In the first field, type your first and last name. In the second field, start typing the word community and choose community and junior colleges. Wait while your initial bookings page is being set up. This is the bookings dashboard. Clicking home or launching the bookings program will take you to this page. To complete setup, you will adjust the following pages, business information, bookings page, and services. The Business Information page sets the general hours you'll be available, as well as your campus, building, and room location, and phone number. If you're using this for specific office hours, please set those hours here. Click Save to complete. The Booking page is where you will set your scheduling rules for time increments, lead time on booking appointments, time zones, and other global settings for your booking profile. File. To the right, you can set your color preference for your page. Check the box that says to show time slots in the business time zone to avoid confusion during daylight savings time. Scroll down to the scheduling policy. Time increment sets the frequency of time slots a person can book an appointment, such as every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes. Minimum lead time prohibits someone from booking an appointment in less than the minimum time indicated here. Max lead time is the number of days in advance someone can book an appointment. We recommend no more than 60 days in advance. Scroll down to email notifications. Leave both boxes checked. Under staff, uncheck the box. Scroll to the top of the page to save and publish. Click open publish page to view the page as it will appear to your students or copy the link. In the services area, you will build out what appointment types you want. The first time you open this area, you will see a service called Initial Consult. We will need to add other appointment types in before you can remove this one. This one. You may want to set up several services such as a 15-minute meeting via Zoom or a 30-minute in-person meeting. Click the Add Services button to build your first service appointment. appointment. Enter the title of the service such as 15-minute meeting via Zoom. Enter the description of the service. If you're doing an in-person meeting, enter the campus building and room location. If this is a Zoom meeting, enter your recurring Zoom link URL. Leave the Add Online Meeting slider in the off position. If you turn it on, it will default to Microsoft Teams instead of Zoom. Scroll down to default duration. Set the minutes or hours to how long you want the meeting to last. Set the buffer time to greater than zero only if you want to add time between meetings. Keep in mind that the time intervals you set on your business information section factor into this. For, for example, if your time slots on the business information section are set to 30 minutes and you have a 30 minute meeting time with five minutes afterwards, someone can book an appointment at 9 a.m., but then the next person won't be able to book until 10 a.m. because of the 30 minute interval. Scroll down to Custom Fields. This section manages your email reminders and any custom questions you want to ask. Use the additional information for email notification box to include any email content common to all email reminders. Click the Add Email Reminder to add more individual time timed email notices. Click the pencil to edit reminders. Remember to save any edits. Click the Modify button to add any custom questions or make any questions required. By default, all services collect the person's name, email, and phone number. Check the box to make the phone number required. Click the Add Question link to make a new question. 
You can choose from a text response or a drop-down single choice response. Write the question and click Save. Bookings keeps a master list of all questions. Click on the question to highlight it in gray, which will add the question to this service type. You can also make any questions required once selected. To change the order of the questions, unselect them and then reselect them in the order you want them to appear. The order will show below. Do not enable the text messaging features. These are not integrated with our license and should not be used. Under publishing options, check the box to display this service on your page. Unchecking it will hide the service from your booking page. Leave the online default schedule policy check to use the hours as listed in your business information section. If you want to specify a shorter time period, uncheck this box. Then scroll down to general availability and change the selection to custom hours. Adjust the times and days you are available. This affects only this service and not any other calendar service types. Make sure you scroll back up to the top of the services page to save your changes. You'll return to the services main page menu. Your last step is to go back to the bookings page and click Save and Publish. Click the Open Publish Page link to view your page.